So in today's video, we are going to learn how to find the absolute and relative maximum and minimum values of a function. Now let's begin with this example. Find the absolute and relative extreme values of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 on the interval negative 1, 4. Now you should notice that the absolute maximum and minimum values are the same as the global maximum and minimum values and also the relative maximum and minimum values are also the same as the local maximum and local minimum values so to solve this question first of all let's find the derivative of this function so we are giving the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 5. Now the derivative of this function is giving us f prime of x and that is equal to derivative of 2x squared that becomes 4x derivative of 7x it becomes 7 and when you differentiate a constant it goes to 0. So this is f prime of x 4x minus 7. Now let's equate f prime of x to 0. We are going to equate f prime of x to 0. And thus we have 4x minus 7 equals 0. So to find the value of x, we simply transpose negative 7 to the right hand side. So we have 4x equals 7. We divide through by 4 and then we have x equals 7 over 4 now we call this the critical number now a critical number is nothing but the value of x such that the first derivative of a function is either equal to 0 or is undefined now using this value we can determine the critical point now at this point we should realize that this is a quadratic function and a quadratic function is given of the form ax square plus bx plus c that is the general form of a quadratic function now the coefficient of x square which is a is equal to 2 that is in this function now since we have a quadratic function, it is either we have a relative minimum or a relative maximum. Since we have one value of x, how do we determine that this value gives the relative minimum or the relative maximum? Now if the coefficient of x square, if the coefficient of x square, which is a, is greater than zero, then we have a relative minimum. However, if the coefficient of x is less than 0, then we have a relative maximum. Now for this function, we have a to be equal to 2. And then since 2 is greater than 0, then it means that we have a relative minimum. Now at this point, we are going to substitute the values of the critical number and then the endpoints of this interval, negative 1 and 4 into this function to find the y values. So we simply draw a table of x and then y. So the x values are going to be, we have the endpoints of the interval, negative one, four, and then we have the critical number, seven over four. So we are going to plug these values into f of x to find the y values so for f of negative 1 we have 2 times negative 1 square minus 7 times negative 1 plus 5 now negative 1 square is 1 1 times 2 is 2 negative 7 times negative 1 is 7 and then plus 5 
so 2 plus 7 is 9 plus 5 is 14 now to f of 7 over 4 so 2 times 7 over 4 square minus 7 times 7 over 4 plus 5 now 7 over 4 square gives 49 over 16 and then 2 goes here once 2 goes here 8 times so we have 49 over 8 so we simplify this as 49 over 8 minus 7 times 7 is 49 divided by 4 plus 5 over 1 so the LCM between these three numbers is 8 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 49 is 49 minus 8 divided by 4 is 2 2 times 49 is 98 8 divided by 1 is 8 8 times 5 is 40 now 49 plus 40 is 89 and then minus 98 and that is equal to negative 9 so we have negative 9 over 8 4 f of 7 over 4 so that is negative 9 over 8 and then for f of 4 that's equal to 2 times 4 square minus 7 times 4 plus 5 so 4 square is 16 2 times 16 is 32 negative 7 or better still minus 7 times 4 is 28 and then plus 5 32 plus 5 is 37 minus 28 is 9 so that is f of 4 so these are the y values that corresponds to the x values now at this point we are convinced that the function f of x has a relative minimum the function has a relative minimum which occurs at x equals 7 over 4 now when x is equal to 7 over 4 the corresponding y value is negative 9 over 8 so it means that negative 9 over 8 is the relative minimum that is the relative minimum and then we have the maximum y value to be 14 therefore this is called the absolute maximum value this is the absolute maximum value that is the highest value of y now the lowest value of y is negative 9 over 8 so negative 9 over 8 is the relative minimum as well as the absolute minimum value so the absolute maximum value is the highest value of y and the absolute minimum value is the lowest value of y the relative minimum is also negative 9 over 8 which occurs at x equals 7 over 4 notice that the curve of a relative minimum looks like this so this is relative minimum and then that is relative maximum now let's move on to the next question so for the second question we have a cubic function so how do we solve this question so we have f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 so first of all let's find f prime of x so the derivative of 2x cubed becomes you multiply 3 by 2 you have 6 so 6x squared plus derivative of 3x squared becomes 6x derivative of negative 12x becomes negative 12 and then when you differentiate a constant you have 0 so this is f prime of x now we are going to equate f prime of x to 0 hence we have 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 
and that is equal to 0. At this point, we can factor out 6 so that we have x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Now, the coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of the constant is negative 2. So, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Now, we want two values such that when you multiply by themselves, you are going to get negative 2. However, when you add them, you are going to get 1. So, that is negative 1 and 2. So, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 negative 1 plus 2 is 1 so we can expand this expression the one in the brackets as x square minus x plus 2x minus 2 equals 0 so we have 6 and then we factor out x and then inside we have x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1 and that's equal to 0 so we have 6 x plus 2 x minus 1 equals 0 we divide through by 6 and then we have x plus 2 x minus 1 equals 0 so x plus 2 equals 0 x is equal to negative 2 x minus 1 equals 0 x is equal to positive 1 so these are the critical numbers now at this point we have two critical numbers so it means that this function has a relative minimum as well as a relative maximum so which of them is the relative minimum and which is the relative maximum now we need to investigate that so we are going to draw a number line and then we indicate negative 2 and then 1 on the number line so we have negative 2 and then 1 now let's substitute values less than negative 2 into f prime of x or better still we can even use these two factors that is x plus 2 x minus 1 so we are going to choose negative 3 now negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 and then negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 so negative 1 times negative 4 is a positive value negative times negative is positive hence we have plus here now let's pick a value in between negative 2 and then 1 so we are going to pick 0 0 plus 2 is 2 0 minus 1 is negative 1 now 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 which is a negative value now let's pick a value which is greater than 1 so we pick 2 2 plus 2 is 4 2 minus 1 is 1 so 4 times 1 is 4 which is also a positive value so it means that at this point the function is increasing and then it decreases and at this point the function is decreasing and it increases so we say that the function has a relative maximum at x equals negative 2 so the function has a relative maximum at x equals negative 2 and a relative minimum at x equals 1 now let's substitute the values of x equals negative 2 x equals 1 and then the extreme ends of this interval so we are going to draw an x y table we have negative 4 and 2 and then we have negative 2 and 1 so let's substitute these values into f of x so f of x equals now we substitute negative 4 so we have 2 times negative 4 cube 
plus 3 times negative 4 square minus 12 times negative 4 plus 4. Now negative 4 cube is negative 64 times 2 is negative 1 to 8. Negative 4 square is 16 times 3 that is 48. Negative 12 times negative 4 is also 48 and then we have plus 4. 48 plus 48 plus 10 is 100. So negative 1 to 8 plus 100 is equal to negative 28. So negative 28 corresponds to negative 4. So this is supposed to be f of negative 4. f of negative 4. Now let's move on to f of negative 2. So we have 2 times negative 2 cube plus 3 times negative 2 square minus 12 times negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 cube is negative 8 times 2, negative 16. Negative 2 square is 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 12 times negative 2 is 24. And then plus 4. Negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4. Plus 4 is 0. Plus 24 is 24. Now to f of 1. So we have 2 times 1 cube that becomes 2. 3 times 1 square is 3. Negative 12 times 1 is negative 12 and then plus 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. And then f of 2, 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 square is 4, times 3 is 12, negative 12 times 2 is negative 24, and then plus 4, so 16 plus 12 is 28 28 minus 24 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so we have 8 here now the maximum value of y which is 24 and that is the absolute maximum value that is the absolute maximum value And the lowest value of y, which is negative 28, is the absolute minimum value. Now, the relative maximum occurs at x equals negative 2, and then that is 24. So, the relative maximum is 24, and it occurs at x equals negative 2. So, this is also the relative maximum and the relative minimum occurs at x equals 1 so at x equals 1 we have negative 3 so this is the relative minimum so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye